Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you all are doing great. This is Fatima Abbas and today we are going to look at the second part of the wedding video animation. In the first part what we did was we used pictures for the animation purposes but in this one we are going to use the AI file. So that means we are gonna go in a little bit more depth than before. So I have this file which is ready for animation. That means I have kept each part which I want to animate in a separate layer. So I'm simply gonna drag it into the Adobe After Effects. We are gonna keep the import kind as composition. I have renamed ready for animation as first and I'm gonna double click on it. And here you can see I have five different layers. I am going to lock every other layer except the one which I want to work on. And first we are going to work on these circles or floors. If you want to focus on one single element and don't want to get distracted with uh, other stuff, then just simply click here and you will see it like this. As I have told you earlier that there are four types of things that you can do with your element. That is, you can change its position, change its scale, rotation, and transparency. And what we are going to do with this floor is we are going to rotate it. And I have kept it in the background so it will give you this look that the picture is in constant motion. So select the layer, press R, click here, and write time into 30 in the expression relation. And it will start rotating all by itself. So there are some things which you can do with the rotation. You can add a negative sign before 30 if you want to rotate it in the opposite direction. Uh, you can also rotate it slower or faster by changing the value that is 30 to some other value. So what we are going to do is we are going to copy paste it multiple times and uh, we will change its size that is its scale and i will paste it uh, all over the page so for the background noises i can't help it so where are we so i can uh, i will place it all over the page copy paste simply select the layer and uh, click ctrl c then ctrl v to change the scale press s and the scale property will appear you can decrease or increase it down so now i'm gonna fast forward it and um, I will um, set different speeds and uh, different directions for circles, uh, just like this. So here um, I'm going to change its uh, direction. Simply add a negative sign and oh, oh. like this, negative 10. And you see now it's uh, rotating in the opposite direction. Now you can see it's kind of real mess that is too many layers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the last circle layer. I'm gonna press shift and then click on the first circle layer. And right click and pre-compose and it will become a composition and i have named it as background floors Isn't it looking pretty?
So next we are gonna work on the initials. I'm gonna lock the background floors layer and I'm gonna unlock the initials layer. Then to make sure that it is in the center of your artboard, I'm gonna go onto the layer. Form, center, anchor point and center in view. Center anchor point means that the anchor point is in the center of the object which is really really important you're not gonna completely understand it at this stage but make sure you select both of these things now i'm gonna go into the effects and presets if you cannot see it you can uh, view it by going into the windows i'm gonna write a fade in the search bar and i have some results but before applying i'm gonna cut uh, the initials layer up to 5 seconds by pressing ALT and square bracket. Now I'm gonna drag the effect fade in out on the layer. And it's simple like that. Next on the names I'm gonna apply the position property. I'm gonna click the clock at one frame and then I'm gonna drag it a little down to have some this kind of motion and I want the same motion at the end in the opposite direction so I'm gonna copy the keyframes and I'm gonna paste them here like this and don't forget to easy ease all of the keyframes to have a smooth transition so now I'm going to change its opacity from 0 to 100 at the start and 100 to 0 in the end. And I'm gonna do a little adjustments. Yeah, you can either do that or you can also ignore them. Um, all up to you. And now I'm gonna select the initials and the names and I'm gonna pre-compose them, that is uh, combine them into a single composition. I'm gonna apply the same fade in fade out effect to the 0 to 1. And now I'm going to select three compositions and I'm going to pre-compose them into a single composition and name them as slide 1. So here we go, we have one mistake and that is I want the background flowers to be at the background all the way up to end but you can see here that it's stopping at uh, five seconds so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the slide one composition and i'm gonna select this background flowers and i'm gonna delete it from there and i'm gonna paste it in my main project below the slide one layer So you can see that even after 5 seconds, it is right there in our screen. Now let's start working on the second slide and I'm going to drag the second AI file into the Adobe After Effects. I'm going to double click it and you can see that there are two main layers in this file. The one is Groom and the second one is Essen, that is the Groom's name. And before we start with it, let's rename our main um, composition as main instead of first to avoid any confusions. Now back to the second slide. First, I'm going to make sure that the groom is in the center of the page. You can also open this align window to align your object according to your requirements. 
and right now I want it in the center of the page, both horizontally and vertically. So now I want all of your attention to the screen because this part is a little, little more complex than what we were doing before. So I'm gonna select the groom layer and right at one second I'm gonna cut it so that you cannot see it before the one second. Now select the layer accent, press P and uh, right at zero seconds I'm gonna add a keyframe and then at five seconds I'm gonna drag it up to here. And then at um, around 5 seconds, I'm gonna move it down like it's going to reveal the groom. Then select a layer, new and shape layer. And drag it below the accent layer. And then I'm gonna go at five seconds so that I can make a shape that can completely cover the groove. So now I'm gonna select a square shape from the top bar and I'm gonna make a square like this and make sure it completely covers the groove or any other object that you want to, you know, kind of reveal using some tag. Now I'm gonna select the parent pick whip of the shape layer and I'm gonna drag it to the upper layer that is the accent layer. What this will do is it will make the shape layer a child of the accent layer that is it will do the exactly same thing which accent is doing. Next I'm gonna select the groom layer and uh, from here I'm gonna select the alpha mat shape layer 1. And now let's see the magic. Next, to add a little more motion to your screen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the wiggle rotation effect to the groom layer. And I'm gonna decrease the wiggle amount degree. Now I'm going to select all of these layers and I'm going to right click, pre-compose and I'm going to name it as slide 2. And I'm going to cut it at around 6 seconds. And then I'm going to go into the main project and I'm going to drag this slide 2 above the slide 1. And I'm going to position it like this so that it appears after the slide 1. And then I'm going to cut the extra part. I have done the same with the bright slide and I have named it as slide number three. And I have also added the fade in out effect to both of the slide two and slide three. I'm gonna drag the loss, that is the fourth AI file, into the Adobe After Effects. And first, let's work with the couple layer. And I'm gonna cut all the other layers up to five seconds. Next, I'm gonna make the opacity from zero to 100% of the couple layer. That is at 0 seconds it's 0 and at 5 seconds it's 100%. Next for the top rope, I'm gonna position it so that at 10 seconds it um, comes where it is right now and at 0 seconds I'm gonna drag it all the way up out of the screen. Same goes with the bottom text but in the opposite direction. And I'm also going to add the wiggle rotation effect to the text. And 
and now comes the fairy lights now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um, transition the opacity from zero to hundred and then from hundred to zero and then again from zero to hundred and hundred to zero and then i'm gonna write loop out in the expression so that it will continue till the end of the video Next, I'm going to copy paste it multiple times and I will place it all over the rope and I'm going to displace them a little so that they have different timings. And then again, I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to pre-compose them into a single composition and I will name them as slide number four. And now I'm going to drag it into our main project and I will place it after the third slide. Now comes the final step, select the composition, that is the main composition, and then go to composition, add to render queue, keep the settings the same, and click on render. And here we go. The video that you are looking at is basically designed for mobile screen, so its dimensions are set according to that. So this was all for today. Make sure to like the um, video, subscribe the channel and do remember all the people who are suffering from COVID in your prayers. Allah Hafiz. Stay blessed. Keep smiling.